seeing as it is the last and final day of ASHG 2016, I'm curious to know what knowledge or experience you've gained here. Let's go. What have you learned at ASHG 2016 that you'll take back to your lab or clinic? I was thinking about uh, modeling subclinal evolution. So I was interested in a simulation talk on that this morning. And uh, a few other projects, probably more related to, just related to bioinformatics. I mean, I'm interested in expression studies, so it was really neat to see how um, some labs were able to take huge genomic databases and utilize that to look at you know, this di these distribution of EQTLs and how they might be um, affecting human-specific tissues. You know, the field of uh, human genetics is uh, developing very fast. It's uh, basically technology-driven. And this year, I learned a lot of new stuff on single-cell sequencing and the CRISPR genome editing. It's uh, tremendously helpful to me. Well, that's, that's a good question because I just arrived here about two minutes ago. Oh, but what I intend to learn is material that's going to help me in diagnosis of patients and maybe even coming up with some treatments. That it's best to let my students do whatever they want to do when they're here and to support them and to encourage them and to be grateful that I don't have to do the program committee anymore. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. <laughs> that there still needs to be, you know, a form of education to teach the general population about genetics and about, um, you know, genetics in minority populations. Um, we still have a lot way to go in uh, teaching others about what geneticists do and how it can help the um, human health. So, wow, that's, that's a good answer. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks.